Hey, what's up, Canada? Welcome to our review of motorcycle footwear for the off-road category. Okay, so off-road, we've got four big brothers and one little brother here on the end. We'll talk about this little guy in a moment or two. But let's get to the big guys here. Professional amateur motocross dirt enduro riding. Starting over here on my far left is the Fox Competition 5. And this is an entry level boot, okay? When I look at some of the components here compared to the Alpine Stars Tet 7 that's next to it, this is a little bit uh, more entry level. It feels a little bit more rigid uh, and the, the finish isn't perhaps quite as professional. Uh, a little bit low end. Uh, these buckles, I'll just switch this around for you. These buckles in class here, I'm not going to undo them all. You don't need to, you know, you've bought these boots before, you've ridden in these boots before, so you know how to undo and, and do them up. But these buckles are a little bit. A little bit, uh, I don't want to say cheaper, but that's what it feels like. So a little bit more. It's an entry-level boot. You're not going to pay as much. Uh, for somebody starting out on dirt, this is a really great choice. Alpine Stars Tech 7, it's pro. This is for you guys that are out there, uh, out there uh, day after day, hitting the dirt. Really, really nice boot. Love the design. Really good uh, uh, closure system. Very, very reliable. Very rigid. Lots of durable support. Accordion stretch panels in all the right places. Nice cup fabric at the top. Nice lining on the inside that's going to be breathable and keep your legs cool on the bike. Similar, moving over here to my right with the Fly Maverick. What I really like what these guys have done, and they've taken, they've, they've put a little bit of an edgy design to this. I'm going to pop this up on the toe here so you can have a look. I love this little toe section here up in the metal, and I love the front and the, the, the rigid there. You've got some great impact protection there and some nice color schemes going on as well. And again, a very, a very nice, it's a, it's a decent amount of money that's gone into producing this closure system for you. It's quite high end. And finally, on the other side, I love this panel here. I love the brown. You don't think brown goes with black, but some guys have pulled it off. They've pulled it off here as well. This brown heat resistant panel, which is a really nice touch as well. The guys at Thor have produced two boots. We've got the Blitz and we've got the Shorty Brother, the LS. Talk about that one in a second. Again, the Blitz is a nice boat. I, I like this kind of etching design that's going all, all the way around. This kind of cutting in into the, uh, into the upper of the boot. It's really, really nice. You've got, of course, reinforced toe box. You've got heel cockpits. You've got a nice comfort liner around the top here, as you can see. So it's not going to chafe your legs when you're putting on. You've got the, uh, the Thor logo on the inside heat pad here. You've got a nice buckle closure system. This boot feels really, really secure and rigid, but has some flexibility about it as well. Certainly feel you have no problem riding around in this all day. And that's where we come into the LS, the, the shorty version of the Thor Blitz. And what's great about this, you, you can ride this. It's great for pit riding. Uh, you can do some, some motocross as well. But you know what? You can put this boot on and wear it on the street too for some regular moto riding. It's a really nice boot. It's basically uh, seven or six or seven inches shorter than the other one. We're down to two class instead of four or five. We've got a little bit of a shortened heat panel on this side. It's a really, really nice boot. Lots of protection. Nice mesh uh, fabric instep there for lots of flexibility. So that completes our lineup for the motocross and our little motocross casual friend here, the LS Shorty. Thanks for watching our review of off-road motorcycle footwear today. If you need any help making a purchase or just some further information, please do not hesitate to give us a call. We'd love to hear from you. Till next time, my name's Simon. Ride safe, ride off, and bye for now.